Yo, Los Bradshaw here, making my YouTube debut on the 14th of July in my kitchen in London. Sweet and cheerful. It's probably meant to be cheap and cheerful, but I like to get sayings wrong. Anyway, a little about me. I go to drama school in London, loving life, being a bit crazy. Like my hair, it's so frizzy today. Humidity in London is atrocious, apparently. That's my phone. Probably should have turned that off. Anyway, I'm here and I thought, why not combine the two? I love drama and acting, but I also love cooking now. Since moving down, just got a really big passion for it. And I just love putting the radio on, dancing around my kitchen, cooking, and it really helps with budgeting. So any students out there that want to freeze meals and make their own little ready meals, clean eating as well, like I know everything that goes into my food now. So it's healthy and it's cheap and it's cheerful and it tastes mighty fine, so. Today I'm going to make my five vegetable couscous that also has tritzone halloumi in or you can have whatever you want in it, it's dead versatile. So I've cut everything out, basically. So we've got peppers, um, got a bit of cucumber to dress on the top at the end, just a bit of freshness. Um, I sometimes put red onion in it or just normal onion but I couldn't be bothered with the eye situation and cutting it today. So I'm making more of a garlic infused couscous and halloumi which is just good anyway. Tomatoes, trips, so running a bit low on ingredients today because I went holiday on Friday, so I didn't want to overload. But I will show you how we get down to that in a minute. Right, I'm gonna have to kneel down so you can see, and I'm gonna turn up, tie my hair up, and um, get these brows on show clearly. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna kneel down for a second, and then I'm gonna put the radio on, and then I'm just gonna kind of take you through quickly what I kind of do. Work a bit of oil on this. Actually, a bit of butter might be better. It depends what you like. But I'll turn that down for a second. Yeah, because butter is a bit better for the couscous. It just is. Here's a bit of a lump. Make sure you wash your hands before you cook. Just, you know, hygiene and all that. Whack that in. Let that simmer for a bit. And then I would put... Obviously, you would wait longer. I would actually put the chorizo in first. But if you're doing it with onion, I would put the onion in first because onion takes a lot longer to sweat out. And you really want onion to get that nice see-through kind of texture. And, you know, I'm going to get a really good bum squatting, speaking to the camera like this. Bonus. But with um, garlic, you want to put that in after the chorizo. Get all the juices off, to, off the chorizo flowing. And then put the garlic in because garlic burns a lot easier than onion. So... Keep that in mind, guys. Wipe this up. Let the heat up a bit. Fry, 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 fry. And then, so you've got your garlic ready. I've got everything ready. I don't know if you can see properly. We'll just have to kind of wing it. But then I will put my garlic in. I would normally wait a bit longer, but I don't want you guys getting bored. Because um, it can happen to the best of us. My fingers constantly smell of garlic. Just bear this in mind. I've got garlic presser, but it just doesn't do it justice for me. These camera angles are going to be mega interesting when I edit this. I can't even edit, so I don't know what I'm saying that like. I'm going to be editing my life away. Give that a mix. I always put salt and pepper in, whatever I do. At the minute, I've just got table salt. But with this recipe, I won't put too much salt in because obviously halloumi is very salty. So, pow, pow. Now, this looks beautiful, and you can, I wish we could like somehow record smells, but we can't. So I'll kind of go over. It's on a tripod, so I don't know where I'm going. There we go. Mm -hmm. I'll have to like freestyle it another time, maybe. Um, what that in. What the peppers in. Because again, peppers take a while. And nobody likes a bland pepper, did they, really? Let them sweat out together and don't burn the garlic, keep an eye on it. So you literally, with this recipe, you can put anything you want in it. Um, I put lentils in in the past, I put courgettes, put, um, what else did I put in? Instead of halloumi, I've done feta or I've just done chorizo, or I've just done halloumi, depending on my budget. But obviously, if you're feeling up for it, you can do both. You can put beans in as well, so if you like a mixed bean kind of couscous salad, go for it. Um, just, yeah. Be adventurous. That's what I always say with cooking. Go wild. It's very creative actually. I didn't realise how creative cooking is until I took it on board. So I'm gonna let that sweat out and I'm gonna just Right, so this is all sweated away rather lovely. 
if you can just see without me burning myself. And look at the beautiful colours. Mm -hmm, that smell. Very Spanishy smell, the trip. So I just love everything about it. Then I would actually like to put some sunflower seeds in. These are sunflower and pumpkin. Um, and normally I just go for plain sunflower, but yellow. And um, just whack a few in. Now, some of you might not like this, but I kid you not, the first time I'd ever fried sunflower seeds or roasted them, it was something else. I just was like, how can seeds taste so good? I was proper impressed. And then, you don't want to burn them, even though they taste great burnt, trust me, I've done it. But you just want to turn that heat down now a bit, because as you can see, we get a nice little charcoal effect. And that's lovely. This is my snack, a bit of hummus, pre, pre-show snack. Um, and I left my tea and it's like gone black. It says drama queen, which is obviously apt, but it's stewed. And London's hard water is minging. It stains my cups really badly and it's just not as good as back, back up north. The water is a lot fresher. I hate to tell you guys this, but it is. Right now, just get the couscous on. Um, you probably should have done it earlier, but I don't know why I'm seeing you passing the blame much. But um, in future, when you do this recipe, put the couscous on first, take 10 minutes, kind of sweat out. I keep using sweat out. Sorry I've offended anyone, but who cares. This was a great birthday present. And it even has some stupid measurements the Americans use all the time on their websites. Um, one cup. What does one cup mean? Please tell me someone. One cup of milk, one cup of... Do you know how different sizes, how many different sizes mugs I have? I just don't have one cup. That's just some like miracle size. So this cup, if you get it, any American recipe, you're going to nail because you've got the cup. I'm just going to let that sit for a minute while we concentrate on the couscous. Most people know how to do this guys. It's a pain to get out of the box though. Oh, what's this song? Oh, tune. Absolute tune. Right, just whack it in the cup. So, all couscous will have different ingredients on. Um, 100 grams and then 160 ml water. You know what, we'll leave out 250. Because that means 116 and what's half of 160? 80. So 160 and 80 mils of water. Trust me, it's not as complicated as I'm making out of the couscous in the water situation. I've worked it out. Apparently it's 400 mils. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I use my iPhone to work that bad boy out. So I've put an oxo cube in there. Class it. I don't know if we can do product placement in, um, on YouTube, can we? Is that a lot? And um, what I do, I basically whack the Oxo cube on the stick and then I go in my sexy spice cupboard. Look at this, multi-tasking, come back by now you watch. Freddie Mercury is probably overshining my voice because his is beautiful. And then I pull my Cajun spices in. Um, some of you might just have actual Cajun um, spices, but I would put tea teaspoon of cumin in, if you don't have cashew. Yeah. Teaspoon of cumin in, half a teaspoon of coriander, um, paprika, teaspoon of that. I freestyle it, I'm not gonna lie, and I always put more paprika in than I should, uh, but I like it that way. And then oregano, I want a teaspoon of that. Um, yeah, all my spices are like in massive packets because that's the way I roll, and it's so much cheaper. Like, when you cook all the time, that doesn't, you know, do you justice. Like, it's gone. Um, obviously fresh herbs are better when you can get them. I always get fresh coriander, because I'm a bit of the Mexican vegan. But basically, this will look minging now, and it's fine, because I'm all like herbs talking about in it. But it just means you get an even spread when you, can't even see my face, and obviously you want to. Um, get even spread when you put it in the couscous there. You're not like 
definitely been gassing myself out for a long time. Oh my god, the house might go up in flames, I don't know how long that, that's been on. So give that a good mix. I would also, for, for the buttering, use a butter knife when you're cutting off butter. I'm here like using a really sharp knife. Good chunk, whack that in. Mm -hmm. Good cooking, good cooking, good looking. And then my lid, whack it on. That'll take ten, well, five, five to eight minutes it says. And then that's what we're going on to now, Halloween. Get this part right, if there's any flames. Right now, whew, we're fine. Gas to leak much. Heat this up again. Obviously, when you're doing it at home, you would have already know because you guys are winning. it would be like, oh, put that couscous on first because it takes about eight minutes. Yeah, right, so this is my tip. I say get a few good slices of halloumi. It does tend to rip, so do them quite chunky. And then my budget saving thing is, is I, I have like three good slices and then I do the rest in like dice cubes because then even if I haven't got a lot, I feel like I'm getting a taste of the halloumi throughout the couscous, not just like three big slices. So I have like little chunks like this. Oh, I would eat. I was like, fuck. And then I end up with nothing left. I'm gonna whack a few good pieces in though today because I'm hungry. I had to wait for this bloody video camera to charge before I actually started cooking because obviously this wouldn't happen if I didn't charge it. And um, that's what happened. So when it's hot enough, I leave it a bit longer yet. Whack it in. Also, squeezy lime or lemon. Always nice to have with couscous. I think it's a lime. No, that's fine. Always nice. And you, you can put a bit in when you're cooking the halloumi or drip them. Or you can put a bit in. Um, at the end, I always like to put a bit of butter in the last finish with a bit of lime or lemon. Normally, I just use um, squeezy lemon. You add a bit more pepper in. Always taste when you cook. Just don't ever not taste. Because chances are, you're going to need more seasoning. And nobody likes it when you get to the end. Um, everybody sees them. I'm gonna put a few tomatoes up, put them in now, shimmer, shimmer, and uh, wait for another tune of magic. This is obviously a tune, but I, I wanted something a bit more, well, I wanted something to need the lyrics to. I'm not gonna go and have the lyrics to So, how close tomatoes? And then I'm gonna cut a few and put them on the end. Just, you know what I love? A bit of hot and cold. Like, I love the coolness of the cucumber when everything else is hot. Like, it gives it a really nice Greek feel to it. So, I should show you what it's looking like. Look at them colours, and this is my halloumi. Cooking up, and if you can see, I don't want to burn my camera, but you can kind of see like seeds and stuff. I'll do close ups later of myself on the food. I'm also punching over, aren't I? Like, cook like this. I got like thermos sat hands in there, by the way. So, put the cubes in a little bit later than slices because you don't, you don't want halloumi to be too rubbery. You know, obviously, it's meant to be a little bit, it has a texture naturally, but. Girl, don't want to be breaking the teeth on it. Uh -huh. That looks beautiful. And all you gotta do is just sit back and wait now. And Sam Smith or whatever's come out. Right, what I'm doing now, this is done. It looks all red, golden, beautiful. Smells divine. Cuss, cuss. Oh, let's not burn that, Lauren. I give it a little taste. Um, don't double dip if you're, you've got guests, but I haven't got guests, so. Now, just have a taste of it and think, oh, what, what does it need? And it'll all rely on your taste buds. And mine love cumin and things like that. So, for me, it needs a bit more cumin. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add a bit more cumin. And a little tip of mine is I sometimes a bit of sweetness. Like, it's a massive bag of cumin. You can tell I like it. I'm just like, my cumin brings all the boys to the yard and they're like, it's better than mine, they're right, it's better than yours. My sister-in-law got me this from Saffron and it's just basically a salsa, a Mexican salsa. But I do love my couscous with a bit of sweetness in it. Every now and again, just a bit of tomato -y goodness. But remember, we're still, um, um, obviously all the flavours are in here, so, and all the juicy fats. And fats are good for you guys, it's sugars that you want to watch out for, so don't be worrying. So what I do, I literally, let me see, oh, this is a tune, you can just watch while I, um, 
I'm not good at lyrics, but I appreciate it. Pour it into the couscous. All the juicy fat, all the seeds. Because it's good fat, it's good cheese, it's good shirt, so it's a process. You've got to remember that. Um, give it a mix, I'm always a bit messy on it. Give it a good mix, look at it. But you're feeling it. No, you're complaining. Tell me, cause it hurts. Oh, Gwen. Gwen is a fucking legend. I love Gwen. Get the parachute pants in. Parachute pants, my heavy pants, I got these from Camden. Absolute bargain. Some poor guy probably couldn't feed his children because of me. I, I haggled hard that day. My student, student life. I don't have enough taste with a bit of pepper. I don't know why people look into the camera like you want to see me eat. I'm going into that kind of stuff there. Right, this is where the lime comes in. A good lime. And you gotta think I'm putting those butter in my not because every time I put some in, because I'm using a stupid knife, it's like <coughs> not going in. That's half a lime, by the way. I don't know about your limes, but my lime's a bit unsqueezable sometimes. I'm gonna keep it on a low heat just because you probably won't have to, but why I'm trying to multitask and do everything. And uh, sometimes you can do your halloumi on the side if you want. And you rather lay it on top and make it all look fancy. Um, I'm gonna do mine on the best spinach. Uh, taste again. Tasting is key. Mm. That lime really brings it off. I'll show you if I can get any more out of it. Makes such a difference. Also, if you're into balsamic vinegar, touch it out always with um, a tree. Whack a bit more butter in. I swear I haven't really put too much in. But always use butter, guys, not margarine. You just very much processed um, and butter is well cheaper. Obviously, you don't need a whole bar of it, but. Don't speak! 90s baby. Right. Have a proper taste now. Mm hmm. Mmm. I'm going to celebrate with that. I'm going to turn it off, but then I felt an uncle coming on. And I'm just going to show you another variation in a second. I had to turn it on for this. I'm not even ready for the next part of the class. But this is a tube. Tidy up to this, you know, just get all the bits and bobs. So this is a finished prod. Breathe it in like a bitch. Um, but my other variation is basically get it in a bowl. Nothing happened there. I can get another bowl. Take on me, take on me, down bow. Or a pun. I need a little casserole dish up, actually, if anybody wants to make some kind of donations. Uh, oh, here we go. Just for this. Give it a quick wash. Washed. Then, you whack a bit of couscous in it. Just say, I go to school, they all say I have baby portions. I do not have baby portions. I'm making this a bit bigger though. Maybe I do. I don't cook baby portions, I cook massive portions and then probably separate them into baby portions. So as you can see, it's in a little casserole dish. Grate some cheese on that bad boy, whack it in the oven, bit of foil over it. I ran out of foil, got itchy chin too. And it'll go all crispy and that's a couscous bake. And it's lighter than a pasta bake. So, one you're winning, it's lighter and it's healthier, cleaner and it's easier. I think because you don't need all that tomato shit, you whack it in. Cheesy goodness. Calcium intake winning. Magic is my favourite station. Motown, soul, reggae, funk, pop, everything. So pretend I put this in the oven. But I am actually, so I'm kind of not pretending. But pretend it will be ready. Uh, literally will take five minutes, not even that crisp up. The other variation, which is just like five veg or whatever. Also, it's nice with peas if you don't want spinach. Or in um, stuffed peppers. So, like that. Get my beautiful diced cucumber. And do tomatoes. Maybe you might want to drizzle balsam, leaf herrings. Salsa, which is called Valentina. 
number three is a lime, it depends on your taste buds. But this is all part of cooking. You'd be surprised how quickly you know what your body and what your taste buds like. And... But... Ta-da! And I actually can't wait to eat because I've been waiting a while for this. So, and I will get back to you in five minutes when the other cheesy thing is out. Whoop! It out the oven <laughs> with Robbie Williams Angel on in the background. Angel season. It, it seemed appropriate. I'm really bad again things out the oven. These little feeble hands I have. This is magic. This is magic. Tune. Pirates, man. There we go. Finally. And here we go. It depends how crispy you like cheese. Mine isn't over crispy. To my eye. But that is my couscous -cous bake. Oh, so two variations. Five veg couscous and couscous paint, which is basically five veg, bam bam, cheese on top in the oven. More wintry, the other one's more summery. That's a wrap, thanks for joining me. And have a good day and let me know if you try any of the recipes. And also Get in the kitchen, get in the radio, jiggy jiggy, no one ever are, don't worry about either, be free, be happy, have good food, layers.